Fifth and last, people. In the last few years, the topic of people has become quite popular. Everyone talks about people, about cultures, even photography has partly abandoned the landscape to focus on faces. You know what? I don't care. Let's be taken for granted, uh, because for me, it isn't something obvious. The city is just an object. An envelope for the others, bricks and concrete with intervals of bitumen and some green spaces. It becomes what it is thanks to, to who lives it, the cluster that resides there. So let's do an example. Think about all these po those post fallout uh, futuristic movies with all those megalopolis empty. Of course, they are fascinating, but they don't communicate anything because life is in people and it's are the people that uh, are the element that identify a city if one of the two parts is missing we no longer speak about city apart from these strictly social and urban speeches that forgive me for the long explanation i hope will be the topic on which i will work for a lifetime let's talk about cluj napoca so about people of cluj napoca in every city where i lived i used to take the subway and make long journeys cluttered by the vibration of the rails why do you think is a strange habit it's because I like observing people. They are mostly inhabitants, sometimes some tourists, immigrants. About Cluj, there will be no subway, but for sure there are streets full of people. I know that Cluj Napoca has always been a multi-ethnic city where many people have met. Romanians, Hungarians, Germans, Roms, Turks, and many others from the rest of Europe and the world. However, the migratory phenomenon towards Cluj is constantly growing thanks to all foreign students who decide to spend a year or even their entire course of study in the city. Okay, enough talking, Nora. I have only one advice for you. Just stop. Put aside a friend's work and sit in a moment in a band to watch the flow of people passing by. Maybe talk to your seat neighbor or to the taxi driver who brings you to the airport or to the waiter who serves you a coffee. In this way, you will know the city without prejudice or limit. Break seats enveloped to explore the interior. The soul of the one who creates it and keeps it alive. Well, we have, we have come to the end of this journey, my friend, so I hope you enjoy it, that you didn't get bored, you have some laugh, and of course that you have seen this city with my own eyes. So, for the last time, Nora, special reporter for Shana Urbana, over and out.